Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a new project. Now since my last video I learned my lesson not to film vertically with my phone. So this is a mistake I'll only do once. I've invested in a GoPro so hopefully uh, my videos from now on will be of a higher quality. And uh, as you see me what I did here is I quickly buffed the floor with a sanding machine. I used 40 grit paper. As you can see, this is a wooden subfloor, and what we'll be doing here is that we are going to be installing parquet square tiles. If that's what they're called, they're basically just like squares made out of wood from pure oak. I just started carrying materials, I got my straight edge, I checked it, and damn it, it wasn't straight by in front of the door and it wasn't straight there in front of the um, I think this is supposed to be a I don't know what it wasn't straight here it was going down by five millimeters I think and it was the same over there but it's fixed and um, one thing I learned yesterday is that you cannot level uh, a wooden soap floor with concrete and especially if you're installing uh, a floor that is going to be glued down and um, this floor is going to be glued down and the reason for that is that pure oak is that this is what we have here it's strong enough to crack a four centimeter um, concrete floor so just imagine what this would do to uh, thickness of a cookie <laughs> uh, so if you would level out the floor here uh, as I said it was only five millimeters that need to be leveled so that's about the thickness of a cookie imagine what it would do um, to, to, to that once the floor would be moving a little bit and the floor does that because of temperature differences and moisture so what with the seasons and where i live we have the seasons we have a proper winter and the summer everything moves and once the parquet moved it would loosen up and crack the um, concrete and it, it, it would just be held and it would have to basically remove the concrete. I'm sure it would be loose all by itself because the concrete would be the strongest link. So this is something I, I learned yesterday. Never ever do you level a wooden subfloor with concrete if you're going to be installing anything on top of it which you're going to be gluing down. As I said, I buffed the floor. I used 40 grit paper. Uh, the painters were here before us. There was some dirt and there was some glue left on the connections and uh, some of the pieces, there was a carpenter here, he leveled the floor, he uh, basically raised it up a little bit and some of the pieces, the edges here, they were a bit higher than the rest of the floor so everything now is buffed and the surface is roughened up so now the glue is going to have a better connection to these uh, wooden plates. Now the only thing left to do is to measure out the room and see where it would be best to begin with those um, square tiles. My suggestion is that it might be best to just begin with um, full squares from here, as long as, we don't add up, as long as we don't end up with very small or narrow pieces by this wall. Okay guys, enjoy! You see me mixing up packs together and the reason for that is that I had a few packages with a different class grade of wood and I was mixing them up together with the rest of the packs so that they don't stand out in the floor.
Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to day 2 of the installation project. Now all that is left to do today is the perimeter of the room and uh, so today is the cutting day. Yesterday was just basically filling in the area and I have to make my line in front of the tile straight since there's only going to be silicone there and it's the same in front of this uh, door there. I'll be using my circular saw to make those cuts. Afterwards I might switch using my mind or so or might not but this is a, a simple process is just measuring each square and then uh, making those necessary cuts and then gluing everything down I might pre-cut my uh, squares in front of the tiles just to make sure they fit and I don't have to mess with the glue but other than that all I'll be doing is just spreading the glue and making those cuts afterwards and yeah without further ado let's get into it After I tested to see if the squares fit in front of the tiles, I saw that there were some glue left in the grooves of the already glued down squares from the previous day. I decided it would be much simpler to just use a router instead of cleaning the groove with a knife or something else.
Ta -da 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 -da. Finally, it's done. It's looking very beautiful. I finished uh, all the perimeter here. I'm quite pleased with how it is looking. I hope the owner is going to be pleased as well. For example, like the line in front of the door. Try to make it straight. And then it's the same here by the tiles. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. So and this is how the floor is looking right now. Squares, 4K. So the only thing left to do here is to sand the floor, fill in any gaps, and then uh, treat it. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this short video on uh, how to install a parquet floor. Leave in the comments suggestions or whatever you might have to say about it. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.